Good afternoon. My name is Eric Carella, and I'm here with GapVax today. Uh, we're out of Johnstown, Pennsylvania, and we've been ma manufacturing vacuum trucks for over 24 years. Uh, the truck we have here with us today is the uh, GapVax MC1510 with the advanced uh, technology system on it. Uh, when you see our model number out there, the MC represents municipal combination machine. The, fifth, the first two numbers, the 15 then represents the size of the debris tank or the water tank and the 10 represents the size of the, uh, the debris tank. Um, so on this truck we have 1,500 gallons of fresh water and it can hold up to 10 cubic yards of debris. The water tank uh, comes standard in 3 16 stainless steel. The debris tank comes standard in 3 16 X10 steel. The debris tank can be upgraded to quarter inch X10 steel or 3 16 stainless steel or even quarter inch stainless steel. The water tank comes standard with a 10 year warranty and depending on what material you would choose for the, uh, for the debris tank, we can offer up to a 10 year warranty on the debris tank as well. Um, on the on the gap vax, uh, right here we have a body washout system. So after you dump the truck, there's 10 fan tip uh, jets inside the tank. Open the handle and we can flush out the, the debris tank. Um, four over center hydraulic locks for the rear door. Each lock, <coughs> each lock has its own hydraulic cylinder and uh, it is filled adjustable with a crescent wrench. So if you get a leak on the back door, come out here, loosen up the jam nut, and then you can adjust the rear door very easily. Um, on the side of the truck, um, as an operator, uh, one of my favorite features on the truck are the tube trays. Uh, it's very easy to put the tubes in and out of the truck. You can put a tube right in and out, out of the tube trays. The tube trays on the tandem axle uh, will hold up to 25 feet of vacuum tubes on each side. That's eight inch tubes. Um, <clears throat> moving to the center of the truck, we have a two inch ball valve for, for our water tank drain system right here. A body safety prop that is very easy to access. <clears throat> um, right here is the hydraulic spool valve. This will manually control all of your, all the hydraulic functions on the truck. Although you probably won't control, can use any of these controls because with the advanced system, we can, we can control all, all functions of the hydraulics with the wireless remote control. So with the wireless remote control, which we're going to demonstrate here for you shortly, uh, we can open and close the tailgate, the locks, raise and lower the debris body, run the boom, even the front hose reel. <coughs> the truck comes... The truck is a positive displace, has a positive displacement vacuum pump and it's driven off, off of the chassis engine through a split shaft transfer case. The standard blower is 3500 CFM. This truck is equipped with a 5000 CFM blower uh, rated at 18 inches of vacuum. Also, we can upgrade the blower. We have blowers from 3500 CFM to 6000 CFM and up to 27 inches of vacuum. The water pump on the truck is shaft driven off a tr transmission mounted PTO. Um, it is located where it's very easy to, to work on for maintenance or repairs. And with shaft driving, it, we can also recirculate up to 80 gallons per minute. <clears throat> also, we offer uh, a hydro excavation pump on the truck, which would be a smaller pump, typically 10 gallons, 2500 PSI. And that would come with a dedicated hose reel for, for that circuit. <clears throat> um, the truck is equipped. What's that? Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah. The truck is equipped with a front mounted boom. The boom will rotate 180 degrees and re re reach 26 feet from the center line of the truck. Um, the way the truck vacuum, the vacuum system works, you vacuum in through the end of the boom, the material travels back across the top of the truck, through the 8 inch pipe, the material drops into the tank, and then the air exits the tank through the 10 inch pipe that we're looking at right here. The 10 inch pipe slows the air down, and then the material comes down through it, spun through the cyclone, clean air is pulled back up through the center of the cyclone, 
and the material will drop out into this hopper here. <coughs> the air is then travels down through. In here we have a stainless steel safety screen. <coughs> so the air has to pass through the stainless steel safety screen before it goes back through the blower. Um, at the end of the day when you're done vacuuming pull the safety screen out and you can hose it down with the handgun that's on, located on the other side of the truck. The air passes through the stainless steel safety screen back through the blower and out the exhaust silencer. <coughs> um, moving forward on the truck, <coughs> we want to show you that we can rotate the front hose reel right around the boom so if you only need to jet the boom is never in your way. Also what you can see is that we didn't have to start the truck to move the hose reel. So in the morning if you want to check your fluids in, in the engine you can open the hood open the hood and check the fluids accurately before you start the engine. <coughs> also, if you ever had any, any problems with the engine, you can get, get under the you can get to it. <coughs> yeah, we'll close it. No. Okay, yep, all right, yeah. Uh, the front hose reel comes standard. It'll hold up to 800 feet of one inch hose or 1,000 feet of three quarter inch hose. Uh, the hose reel is driven by a hydraulically powered gearbox, so there's no chain or sprockets that, that drive the front hose reel. Um, the water swivel on the truck, it's a hardened inch and a half water swivel and uh, we've never had to, never sold a replacement one. It's very durable. If you need to change the jet hose, you can access it from right here. Um, so you can take the hose off right here without pulling anything apart on the front, front hose reel. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, next, we're going to start the truck. We're going to show you how we can run all the features from the wireless remote. And then we're going to vacuum. We're going to vacuum out uh, this tank to simulate a catch basin. What we wanted to show you was just how we could vacuum out uh, a simulated catch basin and show you the power and the performance of the gap vacs. Also, as I mentioned, this uh, truck is our advanced system, so it has a lot of safety features on the truck where if the parking brake is not set, if the chassis does not have 100 pounds of air pressure, or if the, uh, drive, the transmission is not in neutral, you cannot engage any systems on the truck. So it is safety for both the operator and the equipment. Also, the advanced system comes with proportional hydraulics. So as you can see, as we were rotating the boom, the further he would push the button in, the faster the boom would rotate to the right or to the left. Um, if the boom is not properly stowed, the debris tank is not, not down, or the rear door is not closed, the truck, the truck will not go back into gear. Um, if you try to put it into gear, it's going to lock you out. And if, um, if you do need to override it, there is a manual override on the dash. 
And all the advanced systems on the truck are controlled either through a four inch color monitor inside the cab to engage your blower, your hydraulics and your water pump or through a seven inch color monitor out here, out here in the front control box. Um, that's about all we have for today. Um, thank you for coming out to our demo. And if you have any questions, we're in booth 6004. 6, and uh, Nostech will be up doing some uh, nozzle demonstrations next.